Merry Orthodox Christmas to those of you who celebrated. This Monday night we got 5 games for you on tap. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching the LKHL Update. We travel to Magnitogors first where Metalurk face Admiral who are last in the Eastern Conference standings. It doesn't take Magnitka long to get on the board. Matt Allison makes a cross-ice pass at minutes in and Maxim Matoshkin scores his third of the season. The Sailors get back even in the last minute of the period. With just 33 seconds on the clock, Vladimir Batuzov breaks into the zone, sets up Denis Vikhorov at the hash marks, and Vikhorov nests his ninth. Metalurk gets their lead back 7 minutes into the second period. This time Matoshkin takes a shot from the point and Elsa redirects it past Anton Krasotkin. Home team secures the win late in regulation as Denis Patonov scores on the empty net. Magnitka wins their six in a row while Nikolai Kulimin improves his point streak to four games. 3-1 is the final. Our next stop is in Nizhnikamsk. It's the side of the game between Nefty Kimik and Torpedo. Both teams have struggled lately. We pick it up from the second, Torpedo get on the board 4 minutes in as they come out on a power play. Denis Baransev lets a rip from the blue line and scores his fifth of the year. The Bulls get back even less than 2 minutes later. Joseph Pustin defeats his countryman Jonas Natinen for his 14th. Torpedo get back in the lead before the intermission. Denis Martin gets the puck down low and beats Ilyusha for his 13th. Moving on to the third, and Torpedo increased the lead to 3 1. Andrew Caleb gets his 14th. This one comes unassisted. But Nefty Kimik plays the hearts out after that. Two minutes later, Emil Galima puts it past Dennis Kostin to make it 3 2. And just after that, Captain Andre Nestorshow backhands it in from Gretzky's office. That's just his seventh of the year and the sends us to overtime. We just done at 2 minutes into the extra frame, Ildar Shiksadarov drives to the net, passes it to Pavel Padakin under pressure, and Padakin wins it for Nefti Kimek. The Wolves erase a 2 goal deficit in the third and take it 4 3 in overtime. This is Padalsk Moscow region, and we're here to see Vitas defend the ice against Red and Champs Agbars. Home side gets off to a great start. Just at a six minutes into the game, Nikolas Tasenko puts the puck on net from the point, and Mira Altanin skillfully redirects it past Vladislav Podipolsky. Akbar tied up middle for the period. Vitas have one of the players without a stick on the ice, and Stanislav Galiev buries the rebound on Slava Snovin's shot. Andrew Markov draws the secondary assist on the play, and it's 1 1 up to 20. Early in the second now, Alexander Semin puts the puck to the middle of the ice, Alton and skates in on a breakaway and he scores! That's his second of the game at 18th of the year. Akbars get one over the goal line a few minutes later, but the goal is waved off after video review. Goal interference is the call. A little later, Alexander Svitov throws the puck in the slot for Rob Linkhammer. Chaos ensues, but when the dust settles, we see Yoni Ordeo with the puck under his glove on the goal line. Ordeo finishes the night with 36 saves and beats beat Akbars for the fifth time in six games. 2-1 is your final. And now to Moscow, where Spartak play holds to Avangard. The Hawks find the back of the net in a hurry in this one. Less than four minutes in, Taylor back gets the puck from Alexei Emel and it snipes it past Nikita Bispalov. Avangard doubles the lead eight minutes later. Girl Petrov sent it around the rim to Sergei Shumakov, who skates around the net and feeds Girl Sedona from the far post. What a beauty! The red and white have a great chance to get a goal back before the intermission, but Igor Babkov absolutely robs Amber Lisson with this huge glove save. In the very next shift, Lisson feeds Robin Gansel at the far post. He shoots, and Babkov stops it with his pad. They had to review the play, but the call on the ice was not reversed. Avangard improved their lead to 3 0, just 31 seconds into the second. Sergei Shorokov centers it from behind the net. Ilimihev shoots, and the puck is in the net. Game officials didn't see it at first, but Shorokov helped them figure it out and make the right call. The Beasters put it out of reach midway to the third as Taylor Bax goes to second of the game and 12th of the year. A solid win for Avangard on the road as Igor Babkov makes 29 saves for his career high 7 shutout of the year. 4 0 is your final.
We're deep down south now for our final game of the day. Socialism up against Sibir. And it's a goal fast. The Veers to strike 11 minutes in. Viktor Komarov scores his second of the year, while Pavel Vorabe picks up the only assist. The Leopards bring it back to even midway through the second. Damiro Rikimula makes it a 1-1 hockey game with a harmless looking shot that fools Danny Taylor. And they get in the lead just 24 seconds later. Eric Odell receives a long pass, toe drags it past for a bay and wires it home. Odell improves the lead to 3 1 early in the third as it's his second of the night. This one comes on a power play. Ziad Fagin has assist on both of Odell's markers. Eight seconds later, Sochi scores another one. Nikita Tachitsky finds low spot down low and pokes it in for his fourth. A few minutes later, Eric Odell completes his second career KHL hat trick as he scores a shorty. With this tally, Odell now has 17 on the season. Sibir don't go down without a fight, though. Two minutes later, Vladislav Naumov scores his first of the season to make it 5 2. And just 43 seconds later, Yormil Absorb makes it a two goal game with his seventh. But that is too little and too late. Sochi hang on to the lead and snap their three game losing streak. 5 3 is your final on this one. And that's it for your LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for 7 more games including up to Mbilist SKA St. Petersburg and Locomotive vs Red Army. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.